Hello and welcome. This is Kushbu Bhatta and today we will learn how you can automatically assign your incoming leads to different agents or sales representatives. Now let's say you run a business and you are receiving several leads every day. Suppose you have three agents or sales representatives. Now you want to distribute these leads evenly among them so that action can be taken on time. So how can you do it? Now manually collecting the lead details from your form builder application and adding them as a contact in your CRM, CRM software, then sending the leads via WhatsApp to your sales representatives can be a time consuming process. So how about you try our Pabli smart way. Here we will integrate Pabli form builder with HubSpot CRM and WhatsApp cloud API all using Pabli connect. So whenever you receive a new lead here, it will automatically be assigned to a designated sales representative or agent via WhatsApp. And you can use the form builder application and CRM software of your choice. Don't worry, this entire automation process is so simple that it can even be done by a person of non-technical knowledge. You can find the work, workflows link below in the description box. Now come to my screen to see how we do it. To automate lead routing via HubSpot CRM and WhatsApp Cloud API, let us first go to Pabli's website. For that, let us write P-A-B-B-L-Y, that is Pabli.com. You can see the landing page of Pabli. On the top right, you can see sign in and sign up free options. Well, did you know if you sign up for free, you will get 100 free tasks every month. So do not forget to sign up. Since we already have an account, we will just sign in. Pabli Connect. On the top right, you will see a create workflow button. It will ask you to name. We will simply name lead routing HubSpot CRM to WhatsApp create. So it will show you two windows trigger and action. Trigger is basically when this happens action says do this. For an example trigger would be if a sale happens action would be send a WhatsApp message. So here in our case, a trigger would be if you receive a response in a form, then alert the leads to the agents. Now for that, for the trigger application, let us select Pabli form builder. Here it is. For the trigger event, we will select new form submission. All right, it will generate a webhook URL. A webhook URL is basically a link that connects two applications. So when we paste this URL in the external software, whatever update happens there in the external software will show up here in Pabli. So you can read these instructions. We will just copy this. And now let us go to Pabli Form Builder. You will see the page here, five applications. Just click on access now. And this is the dashboard of Pabli form builder. Now these are the forms that I had prepared. Let me open this. Here is the registration form, a dummy form that I had prepared for testing purpose. Now back to form builders dashboard. On the left hand side, you will see integrations option. Click there. On the right corner, you will see top right corner, create workflow button. Okay, so remember the URL that we had copied. So yeah, remember the URL that we had copied from here. So let us just paste it here and save. You will see a webhook has been created. Now, you will let us click on recapture webhook response. Yes. To see if Pabli is able to capture Pabli form builder's response, let us quickly go to a form and fill the dummy details like here I had one. So you can see we have filled in the dummy form, the person sample testing, that is the name of the person. This is the email ID and contact number. So let us submit this. 
and it says your message submitted successfully now back to pabli's page and you will see it is pabli has successfully captured the response the first name that is sa sample last name of the user testing of the lead now the lead's email address lead's contact number is here so this means we have successfully established a connection between pabli connect and pabli form builder all right now on to the next step next step would be hubspot crm here it is for the action event now what we want we want to search a contact we will search a contact why because we want to see if this lead sample testing is already there in the Hub, hubspot crm or not so for that let us do search a contact this will help us avoid any duplication of entries add new connection connect with hotspot crm here it will ask me to choose my account since i was already logged in i did not have to give my credentials okay it says connected now how will it search how will hubspot search using what so let us decide the matching property it could be anything we will search using email let us scroll and scroll you will see email here email equals to output output properties would be again email yes okay now search value so what we are searching we are searching the email address so let us map that yes here it is so we want to see if any lead with this email address is already there in the hubspot crm or not so let us just save and send this request okay it says no that means this lead the sample testing lead with this email address is completely new in the hubspot crm let us quickly go to hubspot in the contacts and you will see there is no such lead as with the name of sample testing can you see no we don't have that means okay the result is correct so now what we will do is again click on the plus button now we will go with filter why because we want this workflow to continue only if this person is if this lead is new to the hubspot crm and is not already added is not the existing one so for that we will select in the label will map from hubspot crm total here this should be the value should be equal to 0 now save and send test request okay here it says the condition is true that means as you can see here this person this the person with this email address was not existing in the contacts of hubspot crm therefore the person the lead is completely new and it has given us a go ahead that we can for that we can continue with the workflow okay so for now the action step would be hubspot crm action event again it would be create a contact why because this lead is absolutely new to the hubspot crm and is not existing so first what we will do is the moment we receive a lead first we will have to create it as a contact in hubspot crm let us connect since we were already connected to hubspot crm in the previous step i will go with select existing connection save okay it says connected now you will uh, it will show you a lot of fields like company size date of birth gender business units latest source date and so on address time and a lot of details but we are going to fill as per our need only so first name i will take from our pabli form builder here here is the first name name sample okay now we want last name again we will map 
start from here that is testing now what we want is email address let me click here again and you can see the email we have mapped it now phone number this is the phone number so uh, you must have noticed i was using the word mapping what what mapping exactly is okay before that i'll show you i i mapped in these details so where did we get these all this information from let me take you to the step one quickly okay here it is uh, when we connected pably form builder with pably you saw these details here the leads name leads email address came up in the response so these exactly details we were mapping it here when we used these like this email phone number and the last name the first name as well so what happens is once you have mapped in these details from the next time whenever a new lead uh, submits the form fills up the form these fields you can see mobile phone number email address th these fields will automatically be filled up will automatically be updated and you will not have to do it again okay so once we are done let us just quickly scroll down like you can see there are a lot of uh, fields it was asking but we chose only four the ones that we needed now save and send test request okay it says the response is received and it has created the person with this name the lead with this name sample as a customer as a contact in hubspot crm so now let us quickly go to hubspot crm contacts and see if it is created a contact with this name with sample name yes you can see it here let me refresh it once again and you can see the person with sample testing has already been created here okay now now we will go with number formatter for action event we will select counter okay so here i would like to explain a bit that and that is why we have selected counter because this counter does what ex so you want that when the first lead comes in it should be assigned to agent 1 the second lead should go to agent 2 and the third should go to agent 3 but what we want is when the fourth lead arrives it should again go back to agent 1 the fifth lead should go to agent Two and the sixth lead should go to agent three. Why? Because we only have three agents, while the leads are several. So here we will use counter. Counter serves as a counter does round robin. It gives value as one, next value as two, and the next as three. We will do settings in a way that the next number, the next value, it just round robins back to one, so that the fourth lead. or any other lead after the third lead is directly assigned to the first agent and so on let us connect quickly do, do the settings now let us do the values we will take initial value as 1 since we want to start from 1 operation would be increment since we want to add the values okay you can select as per your need change value by 1 again now what we want why we have selected this change value by 1 is when the workflow runs for the first time it will give you the value 1 the next time it will give you the final value as 2 and the final time it will give you the value as 3 but we only want the values to be till 3 since we are assuming we have only 3 agents so here reset, reset we will select here reset counter after reaching certain va final value so we will write 3 here so what will happen once the final value reaches 3 it will start it will go back to 1 the final value will it will start taking values from 1 so let me save and send test request see so this was the first time that we run this and you can see the initial value got changed by 1 and the final value is 2 i'll show you again 
Now let us do it once more. Save and send set test request. It will give you the value by 3. Now let us again click this. I'm just doing this just to show you. Now see, since we set this the counter after reaching certain value as 3, so after 3, when we run the workflow, when we ran the workflow, it has given the final value back to 1. Okay. So, this means we are all set to go. Now let us click on plus button. Now is the final game. Let us click on router as a action step. It will show you two. We will need it three since we are assuming we have three agents here. Okay. First, let, let me rename this so that it is clear. Route one instead of route one, I would do agent one. Update. Okay. Here again, I would do it agent two. Okay. Now let us click here. Now let us select the label from here, number for matter. We will need final value. So in the first case, let us take if the final value is equals to 1, which is the condition here. You can see. Yes. Now let us just save it. So now what we want is when the final value is equals to 1, this workflow should run. Here we will select whatsapp cloud api send template message that means when the final value is equals to one the whatsapp message should would be sent to agent one so let us connect add new connection here it will ask you for a few keys for this let us go to developers page okay this is my developers dashboard here you can see on the left hand side of whatsapp drop down Click on getting started. Okay, it's processing. Okay, now it has shown you the temporary access token. Let us copy this. Come back to Babli's page and paste it. Now again to developers page. Here next to temporary access token, you will read a note that this token will expire in 23 hours. So that means the workflow will only work for 23 hours more and then it will be expired. So what will you do is you can generate a final a permanent token, permanent access token. For that, we have a complete video on YouTube. You can go through that. Now let us scroll down. You will see phone number ID. Copy it. Again, back to Pabli's page. Paste it. Now it needs WhatsApp business account ID. Again, developers page. Right next to phone number ID, you will see WhatsApp business account ID. We will copy this. Again, here, let us paste and save. This means our WhatsApp is successfully connected. It will show you the links here. Okay, here it will ask you for the template name. So let me select mine. I prepared a template with lead assign. So what will happen is when the lead one arrives, it would be direct, it, a WhatsApp message would be sent to agent one in this format, in this template. I'll show you here. Here is my lead assigned template. Here you can see hi. That is the agent's name will come here. We have added a new lead on our whatever application, form building application or what, whatever medium you were getting this lead through will come here. Then the leads details will be here. Okay. So this was the template. Now scroll down. You will write recipient's mobile number. Let us read the note here. The recipient mobile number should be with country code like you can see here. In my case, it would be with 91. You can use your country's code. So we will write the agent for agent one number. So when lead one will arrive, a WhatsApp message would be sent to agent one on this number. Okay, now let us see what the fields are. Go back to template and hi. Here the first agent's name would come. Let us take it as agent one. Okay. Scroll down here. 
वी हैव एडेड अ न्यू लीड ऑन आर दिस एंड असाइन टू यू वी गॉट आर लीड फ्रॉम अ कस्टमर फॉर्म सो वी विल जस्ट राइट कस्टमर फॉर्म ओके फील्ड थ्री अगेन गो बैक टू टेम्पलेट हेयर यू कैन सी प्लीज टेक अ लुक एट द डिटेल्स बिलो एंड ओके सो हियर दीज आर द थ्री फोर फाइव आर द डिटेल्स ऑफ द लीड थ्री वुड बी लीड्स नेम वी विल टेक इट फ्रॉम हियर फॉर्म सबमिशन सैम्पल यू कैन टेक द फुल नेम और जस्ट द फर्स्ट नेम वील टेक फर्स्ट एंड लास्ट बोथ हेयर इज द फील्ड फोर इज लीड्स ई मेल एड्रेस वील टेक इट फ्रॉम हेयर फोन नंबर अगेन वील टेक फ्रॉम पैबली फॉर्म बिल्डर वील टेक इट फ्रॉम अगेन हेयर पैबली फॉर्म बिल्डर स्क्रोल डाउन एंड हेयर इज द कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर ऑल राइट फील सी फील सिक्स लेट एस क्विकली टेक अ लुक हेयर फ्रॉम योर बेसिकली योर कंपनीज नेम वुड कम हेयर वी विल राइट पैबली यू कैन राइट योर कंपनीज नेम now let us save and send test request okay it says response received so now what we will do is we will go to agent first agent number 1's whatsapp account and see if they have received any message so let us check here is the whatsapp message hi agent 1 we have create we have a new lead on our customer customer form remember the, these details that we mapped in and here are the lead details so this is successfully connected now what will happen is when the here like in filter let me show you once again when the final value is equals to 1 the lead should be the lead whatsapp message would be sent to agent 1 okay let us save this and close now we will have to follow the same steps for agent 2 and agent 3 so instead of repeating this entire process let us quickly clone it clone with the first step here you can see clone and to be more clear let us just rename it as agent 2 why so that now here you will not have to make repeat the process that we did in agent 1 all the mapping and everything you will not have to do it again with the cloning options all we will have to do is just set the filter i'll show you how see now we don't have to add filter or whatsapp cloud api all these things are already mapped in what we want is just we have to change the scenario here the condition here in the earlier in the agent 1 situation what we did was we kept this value when the final value is equals to 1 the lead should be sent to agent 1 now what we want the final value is equals to 2 the lead should be sent to agent 2 so let us just save and send test request and it will show error because obviously this is not equals to this now you will not have to with cloning option what will happen is you will not have to connect whatsapp again neither you will have to map in these details these will automatically be mapped in okay so the only two things that you will have to change here would be here, here in the recipient mobile number you will have to write instead of agent 1 mobile number you will have to write mobile number of agent 2 here again you will have to just change the name of agent that would be ours would be agent 2 now rest all the details will be mapped in automatically Now let us just save and send test request. You will say, you will see response has been received. Now let us go to agent two's WhatsApp account to see if they have actually received our message, the lead, the message on second lead. So let us see. Here you will see. Hi agent two, we have a new lead on our customer form, and these are the details. Okay. Now. let us just save this all right close it so that means let me just delete this since we do not need it anymore okay now from here let us instead of repeating the entire process for for agent 3 like we did in agent 1 we will clone the step for agent 3 from here 
okay here you can see let us first rename it so that there is no confusion this would be for agent 3 update now again click here you will see filter whatsapp everything is connected all is set all we need is just to change the condition here first we did in agent 1 what we did was final value was equals to 1 then the lead first lead should be sent to agent 1 in the second step what we did was if final value was equals to value 2 then it should be sent to agent 2 now what we want is if the final value is equals to agent 3 it, the whatsapp message should be sent to agent 3 after the after the value has reached till 3 the count 3 it would again start from value 1 instead of 4 it would go back to 1 and here like it was here when the value was 1 the lead should be sent to agent 1 instead of the fourth fourth count it would take as first count and it would send the lead to agent 1 again after that when the fifth lead is generated it would take the value as agent for the final value as 2 it would be sent to agent 2 and here what we will do when the sixth lead is created it would be it would take the value as 3 and send it to agent 3 since we only have three agents okay so let us just save and send test this yes it is an error because this is not equal to this so when this happens that is when the final value 1 is equals to 3 then a whatsapp message regarding the new lead should be sent to should be assigned to agent 3 here like you can see everything is connected all we have to change is change the recipient's mobile number that is we will write the agent's agent 3's mobile number and agent 3's name okay rest remains the rest all this will be updated automatically with the new lead now let us just save and send test request okay it says response received now let us go to whatsapp account of agent 3 and see if they have received any message regarding lead assignment okay here you can see hi agent 3 and these were the details this means we have successfully integrated and now let us just save it and close i hope this was helpful for you i hope this video was helpful for you for more such videos you can subscribe to our channel on youtube for further queries you can visit forum.pabli.com and you can also check our pricing details at www.pabli.com.